Robot duplicates are pretty much a standard trope in comics, dating as far back as this list goes, all the way back to the 1950s. And given they feature prominently in storylines as recent as the 90s and 2000s, they can be pretty interesting antagonists when executed properly. So, this list is our top 10 superhero robot duplicates. Number 10. Okay, this one's funny. Just because it's so 1950s, it hurts. Like, weird idioms and comicisms all over the place. In this issue, Wonder Woman is forced to contend with her robot doppelganger, Robot Woman, who, at the direction of a group of rainbow suited businessmen, begins a series of crimes with the intention of ruining her reputation and hijinks ensues. This plot would be used again in Wonder Woman 84, with another duplicate of Wonder Woman, who turns out to be a robot as well. This is the one I got a lot of unintentional comedy out of. Wonder Woman notices a carnival ride she's standing on is about to start moving and exclaims, By Jove's Thunderbolt! Combining a really old idiom and Wonder Woman's tendency to throw in references to the Roman gods. So while ineffective as a robot, the story at least does provide some value as a time capsule for early comics. Number 9. Doombots are a series of robots based on their original creator, Doc. Doom. They look like him when he's in his armored form, possess psionic disguising circuitry, and advanced AI that makes them really believe they are Dr. Doom. Due to being robots, they're equipped with concussive weapons, lightning blasts, jetpacks, the ability to self repair, charge electricity, and an infrared scanner. Not only that, but they come in different models. Combat models, which possess strength enhancements and heavier weaponry, and diplomat models, with higher intelligence, but reduced strength compared to the combat models. Jeez, Doom went all out on these guys. Number 8. Oh boy, Superman robots have been nothing but trouble, no matter where they come from. Starting with the broad type of Superman robots, they possess the same ability set as the Superman family, including flight, super strength and speed, invulnerability, heat vision, and heightened senses. But they were usually less powerful than Superman, just in case he ever needed to take them down. They even look and sound just like Superman. That said, one of them eventually did break rank. Number 7. Wonder Man or Ajax only appeared once, way back in 1963. He actually began by performing heroic feats in Metropolis, making him equal to Superman in the eyes of the people. Unfortunately, despite their shared ideals, the two come into conflict. As it turns out, Wonder Man is actually a Superman robot named Ajax, who was converted by their revenge squad into an android to take down Superman so they can exact their revenge. However, Wonder Man caught on to this and plays into their plan with the intention of trapping them, and allies himself with Superman, defeating the squad. Sadly, Wonder Man wouldn't last long, as the squad had set his body to expire after a short period of time. Wonder Man was grateful to have lived as a man for the brief time he had, and was laid to rest by Superman, and honored him with an epitaph that read, He was born a robot, but died a man. Truly. He was the most Superman of any of his robots. Number 6. In Earth X, after the Avengers perished, Tony Stark created robot duplicates of the defeated Avengers. Each Iron Avenger had a look that resembled their hero of origin, however, they still appeared to look like a hybrid of them and an Iron Man armor. Captain America, still alive, is not a fan of this, as he doesn't feel this honors their memory, and to quote the man himself, Death should mean something. The Iron Avengers seemingly have personalities not unlike the originals, as seen in the interaction between Sting, the Wasp duplicate, and Captain America. They also may have powers similar to their counterparts, as Wasp and Giant Man appear to correspond to their shape shifting abilities, but it's not clear if they can use all of those abilities. The Earth X series is pretty bleak, and the art can be a bit hard to digest at times, but the Iron Avengers are a pretty cool concept to say the least. Number 5. Another of Tony Stark's creations, Tony 2.0 isn't so much a robot as much as it is a model of Tony Stark's consciousness created in the Iron Man armor model 28, after he was attacked by a group of mechas. Tony Stark was severely injured after the armor was pierced by a railgun, and while the armor protected Tony, his unconscious state triggered the emergency protocols, leading to the Tony Stark 2.0 model being merged with the armor's neural function scans and taking control of the armor. So effectively, an Iron Man model gained the ability to function as Tony Stark itself, except it's able to think faster than any human is capable of. Pretty awesome robot. Number 4. Deviating from the standard Marvel and DC heroes, although not much since it's still a Disney property and the comics were produced by Marvel, in the Big Hero 6 animated series, duplicates of Baymax are produced by Mr. Yama. Hero, after creating a new body for Baymax, is unable to complete installing his software as the robot goes awry, and is obtained by Mr. Yama. He makes a deal with Hero who manages to get the body back, however, Yama created multiple copies of Baymax's body, which he uses to create the Baymax clones. Unlike Baymax, the clones have no personality, cannot speak, however, they move far faster than Baymax can and are completely obedient. All the clones are seemingly destroyed by the team of heroes, but a bunch of evil Baymaxes? Gotta admit, 
That's a frightening prospect. Number 3. Back in the 90s, Marvel did a 2099 line of comics focusing on superhero interpretations set in the year 2099, all with a kind of cyberpunk feel. For Ghost Rider, the story focused on Kenshiro Zero Cochran, a hacker for the street gang Hotwire Martyrs. However, they were attacked by the artificial kids, who murder most of the gang. Zero, in the process of escaping, burns out his headwear implants by jacking into cyberspace. However, Zero awakens and finds himself in a cyberscape world called the Ghostworks, where the AI believe that human society is heading for a total collapse. They offer Zero a deal, be their agent of change, and in exchange, he can get back at the system. Zero accepts, and the machines give him a new body by hijacking a factory and constructing a modified warbot, and giving it advanced weaponry, camouflage, and various other abilities. And really, doesn't that set the stage enough for a pretty badass robot version of Ghost Rider? Number 2. Probably the most famous of the Superman robots, this one wasn't actually built by Superman and didn't appear until after his death at the hands of Doomsday. Cyborg Superman was originally Hank Henshaw, a crew member aboard the Excalibur space shuttle. As part of a radiation experiment by LexCorp affected by a solar flare, their shuttle crashes. While their human bodies are destroyed, their minds remain, and were able to construct new bodies by using cosmic energy and bits of shuttle wreckage. After some time passes, Henshaw starts to believe that Superman was to blame for the Excalibur accident. As around the time of the accident, he had thrown the Eradicator into the sun, creating the solar flare. Although this was not true. Henshaw begins to deteriorate mentally, and begins to think that Superman intentionally caused the deaths of those aboard the Excalibur. After Superman's death, Henshaw starts posing as Superman, claiming to be Superman Reborn, which would explain his grotesque robot appearance as the result of his body being revived by technology. Henshaw as Cyborg Superman has all the powers of a Kryptonian on Earth, and then some, as he's an energy being, so destroying him is incredibly difficult, as he can transfer his consciousness to any nearby machine. So yeah, he's definitely the best Superman robot, no question. Number 1. When Vision got his own solo story in late 2015, readers got something they really weren't expecting. Instead of the general super heroisms of an Avenger, we were treated to a story about Vision and the family he's created to try to further humanize himself. The result was a story about bigotry, vengeance, and what it really means to be human. And it was fantastic. So for context, Vision is what is known as a synthesoid, a synthetic humanoid robot. The Vision family consists of Vision himself, his wife Virginia, his daughter Vivian, and his son Vin. His family are, visually speaking, duplicates of Vision sharing his synthetic appearance and color scheme. Sadly, being what they are, they're not accepted by the people around them despite trying to live ordinary lives. I won't spoil more than that, but this is one story definitely worth your time. And that is our top 10 superhero robot duplicates. Seriously, if you haven't read that volume of The Vision, you absolutely should. It's fantastic. I have to wonder if they'll adapt this story for WandaVision in some capacity. It's already in that setting, so it'd be neat to see elements of that manifest. Anyway, have a good one.